Okay, just a quick video on um, the difference or how you can transfer from um, rational exponents to radical notation. Okay, so have a look at this. Um, this x to the power two thirds, what it really means is, is this x, now I'm just going to point at both these parts of the fraction. This on the bottom, the denominator, means I want to cube root this x. The one on the top, the numerator, numerate it means I want to square it okay so I want to square this thing and then cube root it or shall I cube root it and then square it and that's the better way in other words don't make it huge before you're trying to make it small again why not make it small first okay so but anyway look at this this is what it means then okay so if it's a cube root of x because that's the denominator then that's gone there there's the cube root of the x but the x is being squared as well okay that's the numerator so that's it so think yourself just be careful don't flip this upside down all right the denominator is the root, so the cube root for this one, the top, the numerator, the two is what I'm squaring, okay? So let's have a look at exam examples below, okay? How about if I want to know what 27 to the power two thirds is? That means I've got this 27, I'm going to square it, because that's what the two is, and I'm going to cube root it, because that's what the three is on the bottom. Now I'd rather not square a 27 first, that's huge, then I've no idea what the cube root of that huge number is. How about if we cube root the 27 first, all right? So in other words, I'm going to work on this first, okay? So I'm going to cube root a 27. Well, isn't the cube root of 27 3? Okay, yeah. The cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Now I'm going to square it, okay? Now I'm going to square it. What's 3 squared? It's 9. So that's what 27 to the power two thirds is it's nine because I cube rooted it first then I squared it okay so how about this one four to the power three over two okay well that means I can square root and of course I can square root of four I'm picking numbers I can use all right I'll square root it then I'll cube it all right so again but this is the notation okay this is the radical notation squaring okay now remember for square roots we don't really need it. remember that the square root we can write like that we don't really need the two there but I've written it in just to show you that's where the 2 is, okay? So, the 2 is the root, so there it is, and then I will cube it. But again, I'd rather square root of 4. I don't want to, well, this is not too bad. You could cube the 4, okay? What if we do do that? Let's do it that way around. What if we cube a 4? 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, all right? Then I square root it. What's the square root of 64? It's 8, okay? So that's one way of doing it. The answer for 4 to the 3 over 2 is 8. But normally it's easier to do the root first to make it smaller. So look at this. What's the square root of 4? The square root of 4, okay, put a little 2 there maybe, is 2, okay? Then I will cube it, okay? Again, either way, whichever way you do it, I'm going to get 8 out of okay? So that's the answer to that one, all right? So that's just you, the difference between rational uh, exponents and the radical notation it comes from. Okay, so just remember some of that. Right? Okay, you know where the two go, where's the three go? All right. Let's have a quick look at some examples uh, that might be on the uh, quiz. Okay, now then, forty-nine to the power one half. Well, for this one, all I'm doing is remember the denominator is the root. All I'm doing is square rooting. What's the square root of forty-nine? It's seven because the one. Raise it to the power 1. If I want to, it's still 7, isn't it? Okay? Oh, how about this one? Look at this. 16 to the power 5 over 4. Okay? And again, if I want, if I want to write it as a, a radical, you don't have to for this. I'm just showing you. Okay? So remember, the 4 is the root. That's on the outside. The 16 is what I'm working on. And this 16 will then be raised to the power 5. So again... Okay, that's where the 5 and that's where the 4 goes. Again, I am going to fourth root a 16 first. I'd rather do that and make it smaller, because 16 to the power 5 is huge. So, what's the fourth root of 16? In other words, what times what times what times what? Four of them make 16, all right? It's 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. You check, okay? The fourth root of 16 is 2. So I've done basically... Okay, I've done this bit, the fourth root of 60. Okay, that's what I've done first. Okay, now I'm going to raise it 
okay, to the power 5. There we go. So what's that to the power 5? What's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? That is 32. Okay, so the answer to that right there is 32. Okay, because I fourth rooted it, then I raised it to the power 5. Okay?